everybody, good afternoon. It's all Raptor Jesus here, and I thought I'd go through, uh, show you guys how to make a Gamma World First Edition character. So I'm gonna make a mutant duck named Alphonse, because that's a cool name. I don't care what you guys say. <laughs> it's actually pretty simple to make a Gamma World character. I feel stupid even making this video, but uh, I'm running a game, so this might be handy to show someone instead of having them give walls a text for me <laughs> and see so you roll 3d6 in order the only way to roll stats in my opinion I don't care what anyone says and so I got a 12 mental strength which is actually pretty handy because uh, that's used to resist psionic powers 7 intelligence is not too bad it's almost uh, mentally challenged <laughs> and dexterity determines uh, your order in combat and I almost got like really a uh, high like physical strength for this guy and his charisma I rolled ridiculous like he's just gonna have so many potential followers and good reactions so if you're playing in my game I usually just always roll good reaction I don't know why uh, no one ever has conflict in my world I guess <laughs> and your constitution actually determines a uh, how many hit dice you have because this isn't like a typical D&D setting even though or system even though it's very similar uh, so you roll a 12 d6 for this guy for his hit points so I'm actually uh, I'm doing that right now that's why my mouse isn't really moving or anything <laughs> yeah I was look looking up uh, what I had to do here for uh, charisma, because that's that's one of the ones that actually has some, because none of my other uh, attributes give me any bonuses or penalties. But look at that, ten followers. So that's pretty much a military unit that I can take down in the into ruins and such with me. And they're just always going to be uh, in good spirits, you know, under my. And we'll get to the the weapons and equipment a little bit later, but. Uh, there's a scenario in the back that basically tells you your equipment and you can choose either a spear and shield or a bow and everyone gets a knife because that's just handy. Now mutations, this is where the fun of Gamma World happens in my opinion. You roll a d4 for each physical and mental and then you roll on these physical and mental tables. Now since I'm a mutant animal I have a different table than uh, humanoids. So I got shorter. Uh, that's that's a fun one. That guy is going to be a midget, probably. Yeah, let's see what I got for the next one. Oh yeah, radiation, radiated eyes. Uh, he can shoot beams or rads at people, which radiation is actually uh, still deadly, even though everyone's a mutant. Uh, they still take radiation damage, but there is a small chance that for mutants and mutant animals that you'll get, uh, if you survive the radiation, that you'll get to have a mutation role, which can be good or bad. There's defects in this. I've had some pretty uh, defective characters. <laughs> now, for shorter, you're supposed to roll a, a two percentile dice twice and add that together, and that's how many centimeters tall you are. And since I'm a filthy American, I had to go and convert it. Uh, I had to actually look up how much this was. Now, it doesn't really give like these things I wrote. It doesn't really give that. All it really says is that it gives a mutant, uh, or the change decreases the metabolic rate of the mutant, and also causes a mark reduction in his ability to do damage. And uh, and they might be much smaller creatures, might be really hard to hit in combat. And the referee is to determine what these effects will be, because it's a lot of um, what will the referee do. I love how the mutations are actually like laid out because it gives the, the ref a lot of leeway on how to run it. And since he's a mutant beast, he gets all the powers of the beast, so... You know, ducks are OP fellows. I don't know if you know anything about ducks, but these bastards, they can rule the world. You know, they can basically float atop water, They're, they have waterproof feathers. Uh, they got a ridiculous, uh... Sight ability, too. They have really pretty good vision. They can see in a different color spectrum than humans can. They see, like, brighter colors in us. So. Always gotta save. 
And I made this form fillable sheet out of a, a Gamma World one I found. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't make this sheet. I, I found this sheet. I don't know where it was on. I used Google. I'm sorry, fellas. And now for our mental mutations, I got two again, and he's basically a genius. Uh, heightened intelligence is is really handy, to be honest with you, because <clears throat> it gives you like a, you know bonuses to your mental strength to resist psychic powers, which uh, your mental strength that's what it's used for. And so I basically got a 16 mental strength to resist psionics. And it also gives me a, a bonus on artifact rolls, which artifact rolls are really fun. I might do a video about that just to explain how it works. It seems very complicated at first, or maybe just the way my brain is, it isn't all that complicated to me. But it's just an order of operations. You have a starting point, you roll dice, and that minus two is really handy, let me tell you. And the heightened brain talent is even makes uh, artifacts even more like possible because it reduces the amount of time it takes to figure artifacts out, which can be extremely handy when you have a whole lot of artifacts that you're trying to discover. And artifacts are important because it's uh, one of the only ways to gain experience in the system is discovering artifacts or killing uh, monsters, which doesn't give you a lot, kind of like in standard classic d and You're not really supposed to be out there like murder hoping, even though that's what everyone calls these systems for some reason. Pardon me while I roll up all those. I had to record that. No, I got a... Yeah, I gotta uh, Photoshop this from uh, someone else's Photoshop. It's called Cody Vezdi. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I'll put their uh, their Instagram and stuff down in my about section because I didn't really use it with their permission. But they have so many cool cat pictures. They make cats and all kinds of different things. So I thought duck cat. You know, it's Gamma World. I can be weird. <laughs> And they decide since they're short, they get a reduced movement. Yeah, and see, I use uh, world hexes of uh, 30 miles. So domain hexes are 8 miles. A lot of the stuff I won't really f uh, fill out, like personality, I don't know. I won't know my character's personality until I start playing. And I won't know his background until I start playing. That's just how it works, right fellas? So I hope you enjoyed this, alright? Alright, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you liked my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?